Uh, welcome everyone to All In On Real Estate. I'm your host, Aaron Goins. I started this meetup because when I was in the military, no one in my circle was talking about real estate. A lot of times we talk about debt and other finances, but nothing about real estate. So I want to start a meetup where uh, people can uh, learn about real estate and start build on, building generational wealth for them and family. So I'm very excited today. Uh, today we had no guest speaker. Today we're talking about goals. Uh, it's going to be a free uh, I mean, not free, but it's everybody can speak. Everybody can talk about their goals and uh, and try to get people like myself back on track in 2022. So um, welcome, uh, Lawrence, and Rock George, and Brandon, and others. So um, my main man, George, man, what's going on? How you doing, man? Awesome. Well, hey, I want to thank you for putting this together. And I did join you, it seems, was a uh, prior version of this yesterday on Clubhouse. That was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that room. So uh, just let me know, you want me to launch into it? Talk about goals? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. I mean, um, All right. I, I'll tell you like this. I mean, you know, a lot of times people start goals and, and they're done maybe that first or second month. But uh, how are you doing with your goals? Great. Well, I'd like to cl uh, close a couple of deals in July of this year. I got a couple things running right now. So I'm on track for that. And uh, after that, I got to set a new goal. But I do have one other goal, a personal goal of doing 15,000 steps a day. So if I do that, I think I'm going to definitely reach my uh, personal weight loss goal. So close a couple deals next month and then just uh, keep, keep the personal health going. Is there anything that has stopped you from achieving your goals? Any, any roadblocks that you look back on and say, man, it really wasn't a roadblock, anything like that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's all just mindset. I mean, just figuring out where to look. I mean, I found some great places and just really activated my network. I actually ended up closing two uh, two deals in October, November of last year. And ever since then, it's been kind of dry. So I just decided to just leap into action. So as far as roadblocks that may not have actually been roadblocks, just maybe just looking in the wrong way, wrong places. So... Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on more. Uh, Lawrence, if you were available, what about yourself? I'm here. What about yourself, man? How you doing with your goals? Well, I'm doing. You know what, George is talking about weight, right? My goal was for the first quarter to lose, get down to two, two fifteen, right? So now this is the thing. I weighed myself the other day. This morning, I'm 210. Hey, <laughs> hey, there you go. Congratulations, man. So, you know, I've been, I've been, I've, been, I've been really been, what I've done is I've cut down on my dad on bread eating. I ain't gonna lie, bread eating. I miss my peanut butter. So I, I, I like my peanut butter as is, straight up, no chaser. So um, I eat my peanut butter. I try to get, I work, I don't try, I work and get ready for that bread business, right? But since I had my soda surgery about three weeks ago, so the doctor told me, take it easy. So I've been taking it easy, but you know, I'm gonna get back to my we'll do a little more walking again also. And um my goal this year was to have four 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 um, mastermind events. And I'm on my second one coming up in um Charlotte, July 30th. So uh, that's that's where I stand right now. I'm a little I'm a little lagging on my book reading. That's because I don't know, I, I, I fell off. I don't know if I was overwhelmed. What it was, I was just reading because I gotta read. I, I went to my goal was to read 39 books this year. I was at 40 books. Um, read the Bible every night, chapter night. In addition to that, I've got to read stuff, read stuff for Sunday school. Sometimes I think I just get overwhelmed. <laughs> so I, I saw my goal for the reading sort of slopped off. But this is only, listen, it's not over till it's over. So I don't wait until I just keep it, keep it going. That's all. That's all. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, Brandon. I, oh, I'm sorry, Jordan. Jordan, what's going on, man? Hey, sorry about the uh, uh, audio issue, I guess. But how you doing, man? Pretty good, man. How's it going? Good, 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 good. Um, yeah, sorry for the little uh, <coughs> technical difficulties we had. I, I uh, was on a, the wrong Zoom call for my meetup. So, <laughs> got it. Um, but uh, um, besides all that, how you doing with your 2022 goals? Um, 
you know, we 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 make we making some goals, but you know, we also missing some goals. Mm -hmm. So, um, as far as like I'm ahead of schedule on my overall like acquisition target. Um, they're pretty doing pretty good on pipeline, but just as far as like production, um, just not not really where I want to be. Uh, we're moving through this one development is taking a lot longer than it really needs to, uh, especially for it to, you know, only be a handful of units. So, is there any way uh, for you to get back on your back on the the grind for the goals and, and make sure that you're achieving for 2022? So that's kind of what I'm in the process of doing now. Um, basically, uh, we'll probably just spend a little bit more on the construction side. Uh, yes, his audio went out. That's what I call. Um, so we can uh, spend more on the construction side so we can get ahead of schedule. Um, and that'll 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 get us back to you know really where we need to be as far as like overall productivity. Okay, okay. Well, keep us keep us abreast, man. If anything can help you out with, let me know. Um, definitely want to see uh, people on the on the meetup and others outside of meetup to achieve their goals, man. Because I mean that's so so important. Uh, Brendan, are you here? Okay, so um, I will say this about myself. Um, I am not close to my goals that I wanted to achieve. Um, you know, I think it comes down to not being consistent like I should be on a couple of things. Um, I do think I still can accomplish my goals. Uh, it's just that, you know, I got to work on being being more consistent and also uh, um getting a routine, which is hard with a lot of, um, a lot of interchangeable parts for me. Uh, a lot of things have, have changed. I just got news today. Some more things have changed. So for me, so, uh, with work wise and things like that. So I had to adapt to it. Uh, but I still want to accomplish my goals. I'm, I'm determined to accomplish my goals, but I had to be more, um, disciplined and get a routine going so that, I can accomplish daily goals that will go into monthly goals. I mean, weekly goals will go to monthly goals to, to my whole year. So um, like I wanted to raise $10 million um, of capital and I'm not on target right now to do that. But I know that really is really only takes one investor to do something like that. Really it, to be truthful about it, but it takes um, a lot of, uh, um, you know, networking and, getting to know people and things like that. And, and, and then seeing people wanting to invest, you know, I can, so uh, working on that, uh, still working on the fitness, uh, not where I want to be with fitness, but I'm working on it. Um, so I, I, I know I can accomplish that goal by the end of 2022. Um, and spiritually uh, still working on that as well. Um, make some inroads, but still got to be more, a little bit more consistent. So um, put a lot of time into my, you know, to my, uh, my, my son and rightfully so. But for me, you know, it's got to be more consistent with uh, the task at hand and, and, and continue to put even an hour of work in every day on, on the things I want to accomplish so that I can get to where I want to be at. Um. So, so George or uh, Lawrence, Jordan, um, is there anything that you guys have been consistent with that could help others? I would say building my network. That's got to be number one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Really calling on that now. What did you say, do it? Oh, I was just saying, uh, George is, is definitely on top. He, you know, building his network, showing up every week, getting it, getting it done, making mm -hmm. those connections happen. Because every time you meet up, it's like an extra two, three people I haven't seen. 
I appreciate that, Jordan. You are a very, uh, uh, very much a regular. So you're helping me to build. Uh, sorry, long day. Helping me to build it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I love yeah, it when I see um, Aaron there too. So it's great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would say building building the network is 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 key. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, being uncomfortable. So every day, um, you know, I'm I'm figuring out some way to do something that I either have not done before. Uh, you know, learning, growing, or just taking uh, a route that I, I wouldn't normally take, um, you know, just to make sure that, you know, the complacency isn't there and settling and stuff isn't there. So. I'd like to hear, that's why I'd like to hear the little sound. That sounds, that's awesome. Because, you know, the, the George, you know, some of the networking, that's the, that, that builds it. That's the, that's the main driver right now. So um I'm I'm I'm, I'm I concur because uh, <laughs> I'm working on networking more. Um, I this uh, this week I started calling my calling for guests again this week, right? Um, just to reach out to people to be guests on my on my meetup also, and that's part of networking because you just never know. Just that one person you may talk, have a conversation with, can become a, something of a partnership or some sort of relationship with, for you. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. Definitely agree, man. That you know, you you have to, uh, you you know, networking is 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 such a major part of, of mostly all businesses, but especially in real estate. I mean, you gotta you gotta get yourself out there. Uh, I was talking to a couple yesterday, a brother and sister actually, and I was saying, man, you know, like you really, you know, you really should. Uh, join these groups, join different groups and just get, put your name out there. You know, they wanted to do fix and flipping. And I was saying, hey, I, here's a fix and flipping thing. Um, a network I know that you can join, that you guys can really, uh, uh, really get your name out there. And I think that you really have some good connections. And, you know, you and then using those connections to go where you want to go to. Because, I mean, real estate is a team sport. No matter if you got single family or multi family. Or whatever you're doing is a team sport. So I think that's very, very important. Uh oh, hey Brendan, are you are you here? Uh so okay, yeah, okay. Um I guess you typing. So is there anything that you any goals that you're accomplishing for 2022? I I can just read them aloud for you. You can't talk. Okay, he said not really. Okay. Uh, is there is there anything that you guys would have give advice to anybody uh, about you know um, goal setting at the start of the year? Um, you know, looking back at things like, man, I wish I I just I wish I had put bigger goals or smaller goals, anything like that that you guys can uh, you know talk about. I would just say sign on to your goals every quarter. Don't wait for January. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, because you can always pivot in the middle of the year. I mean, it's the important thing, like Mike Tyson said, right? Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face, right? So right. Uh, right. it's okay to pivot in the middle of the year, but just uh, make sure you always have a plan and that you always have a new goal. Right, right, right. I, I think that's I think that's very very true. Uh, de definitely, because things happen. I mean, I, you know, I think some of the things that's happened to me and, and others. Uh, you're definitely right, George. Um, I mean, we look at the recent events. This happened just uh, the last couple of weeks, the last week or so. We ha we had a uh, earthquake, you know, a major earthquake in in, a, in another country, uh, plane crash. In, in another country. We didn't think that was going to be a war that was going to mess up our, you know, in, inflation and, and the gas prices have gone up. And, you know, so, uh, 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 yeah, you're definitely right, man. I mean, you know, things happen all the time. And, and I don't think no one knew that 
the things that's happened in 2022 is going to come to fruition. So, uh, you know, what happened in what in Europe has affected our whole our whole world. Um, supply chain issues have really affected a lot of us. Brenda, you here? Okay. Uh, but yeah, the supply chain issues has really affected us. So, um, you know, there's always going to be, it's always going to be obstacles and adversity going on in your life. But, you know, sometimes we just don't, sometimes things hit us right in the face. And, and like you said, you still got to pivot. So I think it's a great, great point. Anybody want to add on to that? No. Okay. Um, so uh, next question. Now I got a couple more questions and, you know, I'm not going to hold you guys up, but, um, you know, looking back at this, this past six months or so, is it anything that really sticks out that, you know, you feel good about, or you feel like, man, I could have done better with? Uh, Jordan, what about you starting off? Okay, what about you, uh, George? Consistency on my podcast. I let that slip maybe three or four weeks ago. For the first time, I don't have a backlog of episodes, so it's it's hard. I'm gonna jump back on it this Monday, but uh, you know, it takes time to repair the damage. People get used to an episode every week. If I don't supply it, then now all of a sudden I got to go and uh, you know, I got to hustle to get people back on board. <laughs> I definitely feel you on that, man. I definitely feel you on that because, uh, yeah, uh, with this with this meetup, you know, I, I had to, like 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 Lauren saying for his, I got to consistently, uh, you know, reach out to people, uh, you know, every month. I'm blessed right now. I'm I'm filled up filled up for um, July, but I still got to get back on it for August. You know, um, you, you know, uh, last year at this time, I was fit. I was I had slots. I didn't have slots open till till November. Now this year is a little more struggle because you know I'm I'm only filled up to August, so you know uh, 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 you know a little bit different, um, and and I had to really uh, work on you know reaching out to people and 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 finding good guest speakers um, to speak and and and, I, and, I, and for me I'm look always looking for people who are maybe not as big because I really want to you know share stories I think I think storytelling is so so important because it gravitates people. And makes people inspires people too. You know, dang, he did that. Hey, wow, she did that. Um, it can gravitate somebody to their success, to their to their building their generational wealth, to their success level. So, uh, what about you, Lawrence? Is there anything that you uh, you look back on, like, man, you know, this is, you know, well, for one, for one, right. I had to get back, like I said before, I get back on the saddle with that with the meetup, but put more people in. But one thing I think this year, the one thing I'm grateful for this year is that um, I've been able to, this year to go and really mastermind with a few people a lot this for six months. And that sort of changed my thinking also. And I've recognized also that what's changed is I need to get some more rest, right? These last few these last few weeks, I would I think I was out of sorts because I wasn't getting no rest. So I've gotten some rest these last week and a half. That's gonna change my change my change my look also on what's going on. Because when you, I, I think when, when, for me when I'm not rested, I can't. It's just like I'm just I feel like I'm I'm feeling like I'm just balls just throwing up being thrown up in the air. So this week here I think I'm working on that. That's one part of it. You know, just um getting some rest more, get more rest. And looking back, um, hmm. looking back, I think the, I look back, I can look back and say, you know what? This has been a great six months. It's been a great six months. Um, what I can do better though is get back on the horse with reading because I missed the, I haven't read and get back to the gym. I've been in the gym at the last month and a half now. This is scary for me. That's just me. I even did that, did I go off the off the did I go off, off off track? Uh, no at all, not at all. <laughs> this, is, this is your goals. I mean, this is your goals, things you want to set for your life. You know, um, mm -hmm. so there's no right or wrong answer with this. 
I, I think, uh, you know, the gym for me is something I go to, but a lot of times it's for my son. So I had to do a couple of things for myself while I'm in the gym. I, I, you know, uh, uh, um, certain work on certain body parts, you know, um, more so, uh, you know, with my gym aspect of it. Uh, and, you know, really, really push myself. Like uh, I was doing 100 push ups. Uh, before this this meetup and I was struggling <laughs> I was struggling <laughs> you know so uh you know my son uh he was doing like I guess he does like he started like doing like 10 push-ups um 10 reps to get 100 and I'm like oh, I'm not gonna do that man I had to do that the last time I was I was kind of tired but I had to do that 10 for 10 <laughs> I wasn't that was something I, I don't tend to do, man. I can do more push-ups, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you got to do the basics. So, um, but I did. I still did. I still did my push-ups. So I just didn't. I just got to you know start getting back more and consistent. Start doing those every day and and uh, see some progress. So, um, Brendan or or Jordan, you guys have anything that you want to add? Okay, hear the dog in the background. Yeah, so um, I, I think with real estate, especially, you know, for me, I had to, you know, just make these phone calls. Uh, you know, like I said, some things have changed around for me. That doesn't take away from my goals at all. So I had to adapt to them and move forward and just adjust to those, to these new, the new surroundings, new environment I have. So, um, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, you know, I think a lot of people are doing that in 2022, just adjusting. Yeah, this is, this is this is a time to adjust, to rethink for a second. I was talking to somebody the other day about, you know, taking time now, you know, because they told me they were tired, they were listening to that, and I said, I'm, I'm, you need to take a, take a step back, right, and just stop for a second and be happy and recognize your goals that you've attained this year so far. Because a lot of times I think we, we as human beings, we just, it's just keep on going, going, going. Right. We don't stop to taking the roses that we just, the, the, all of the flowers we just cultivated. Right. And um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it this weekend. I, I we're going to do it last weekend, right? Leave everything alone, not do nothing um, to just um, get myself back up. To build myself back up for the next six months. The thing that if these six months have passed, but like this, I can imagine the next six months is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be phenomenal. For everyone, for everyone here on this on this platform, it's gonna be a phenomenal for everyone. I believe so too. I believe so too. And, and I'm gonna say this uh at the tail end of this, I'm gonna say this, and I, I this is I've been saying this well for the last year or so. Uh life will hit you hard. And, you know, make sure, I know that we all want to accomplish our goals, but make sure you, you tell people around you how much you care about them, because uh, you never know, uh, you know. Um, people are here today and gone tomorrow, and that's very, very true. Um, I had that personally happen to me, and I know others will happen to them. So, you know, make sure that you tell the loved ones how much you care about them and love them. Um, you know, a lot of times we give roses to people who are passed away instead of people who are alive. And I think people, I think a lot of times, and this is how life is, you take people for granted. You know, you think somebody's invincible, they're never going away. But life will smack you right in the face and tell you that's not true. <laughs> we all have a, a expiration date when the Lord wants us to go. So, you know, keep that in mind when, when we grind any things like that. Make sure you tell people you know, how much you care for them um, because uh, you can never on this earth tell them again once they're gone. So. Hey, look, are you guys going out with me? Hold on, hold on. Let me meet you real quick, Brandon. All right. So, uh, George, you have anything to say or, or any anything to add on or anything like that? Uh, no, man, but I just got to say consistency. I love that as a theme. 
Uh, gosh, when it comes to reaching those goals, it's got to be literally number one. That's got to be the one, number one thing to work on. That's why I always say you have to uh, just recommit to those goals all the time. I like to write them out, put them out on my desk. I had my goals right on my wall in my house, in, right in my, my bedroom. Yep. Way we'll to go. Yep. Well, that, that is it. Committed, right? Because we all fall down, but the name of the game is who's gonna, the choice is to get back up. Mm -hmm. That's the choice to get back up. And being is there any, mm -hmm. So let me ask you this, Lauren. Is there any chores or anything like that? Like, I'm not going to say really chores, but is there anything like a task or something like that that you prioritize more than others? You know what? I my my I really don't prioritize a task. Um, that may be that may be my my downfall. But you know, there's times um, where I, I, I prioritize the gym first, right? Because health comes before everything else. <laughs> you get all the money in the world, and sick. The one thing you want is for health, right? So you want. I, I work on going to the gym. I did that for the beginning of the year, from the beginning of the year to like to like end of um, May, I think it was. That was priority number one. I mean, I went to the gym four times a week, mm. right? Um, well, you can put prioritize the thing. You prioritize because last night Aubrey was on the thing. I was on there on my meetup, but that was the night before last Tuesday. Tuesday, and she said you gotta. She talking about the purpose. And it's talking about respect, respecting yourself, right? Sometimes, I, I mean, it's all, it all begins and ends with me, right? So you got you got to respect yourself. You, you gotta you gotta give yourself some um, grace, right? Give yourself some grace, right? Which means be forgiven of yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself, right? Relax. Just keep like like. So just said, stay committed to what you're doing. And if you just do a little bit today, and keep on doing a little bit every day, it's going to add up to a lot at the end, right? Because it's not about, it's not being about being perfect. It's about making it permanent. So um, for me, you know, I, I prioritize, I need to start prioritizing more like you, you know, like there's times where I've gotten so much into this, right? I take my eyes off something. Now I'm back on something else. Right, so you know, it's, just, it's it's a it's a balancing act all the time for me. It's always a balancing act. So, uh, I'm gonna take a, I'm taking this challenge. Uh, Jamal King, he's uh, he has a course called Make Real Estate Real, um, and uh, he has the five the five Fs, the five pillars, what he called. And I'm um, taking this challenge. So faith, family, finance, fitness, and freedom. That's his five pillars. Um, he said if he does that every day, that's a, that's a good day for him. And I, I, I totally agree that, you know, your faith is always important. Um, your family is important. Uh, finances, I mean, you know, you really can't do nothing about your finances. Your fitness is very important, like Lauren said. Um, Freedom, I, I, you know, uh, I think that's a lot of aspire for is to have freedom, you know, the freedom to do what we want and, and go and do, you know, as we please and don't have to worry about somebody telling us or, or, or something like that. Uh, like Lawrence is retired. He has freedom to do what he wants, <laughs> but he chooses to be more, he's more busy now than before he got, well, before he, uh, before his, before he retired. And you know that's 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 a a a, a good thing on itself. Even though he, he probably overwhelms himself at times, <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So uh, I implore anybody to to you know follow those things. You know, I think that's a full day, man. If if you can really work on your faith, work on your family, work on your finances, work on your fitness, and work towards a freedom that you want, I think that's a, that's a great day. Uh, what do you think about that, George? 
you unmute. I'm sorry, I got caught up on something else there, and I, I got to apologize. Oh, you good? You good? You good? You good? Uh, no, I, I was saying this this guy named Jamal King. He started something called the Five Pillars, and his his Five Pillars is uh, faith, family, right, finance, fitness, and freedom. And I think that, and he said he does that daily. He works on his faith, works on work, you know, works with his family, uh, work on his finances, work on his you know fitness. And then, you know, work towards, you know, freedom. Uh, I mean, I was asking you, what do you think about that? Yeah, I love it. Sound, sounds good. Sounds uh, worth reading. I like it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it sounds like it covers the bases. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I, I just think that something like that as a baseline to make sure that you, uh, you know, do your daily goals, you know, and I think that's a full day if, if you do those things, you know, and uh, I've been working towards that on my own. Uh, just, you know, just got to be consistent. You know, it's, I don't care if it's Sunday, I got to work on those things, you know what I'm saying? So I don't care if I'm tired, I got to work on those things, you know, but uh, I saw a quote uh, from my uh, previous guest speaker, Zena, and she said that it, it was like a little quote saying that you're going to be what you are in 10 years from what you eat, from what you do now, from what you, you know, what you, you know, your work, you know, it just reflects, it reflects over the course of time. So um, just think about the decisions you make now is, is going to be what you're going to be in 10 years or your family. So, but look, I'm not going to hold everybody up, man. I'm not going to, I just wanted to say thank you guys for coming. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties uh, with my Zoom. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, next week, uh, Cliff Owens will be my guest speaker. He's going to talk about capital raising. He's part of Nestle build Builders. Um, I think it's probably one of his first meetups that he's going to speak on, podcasts or meetups. Cliff is very smart, um, very engaging guy, always here to help. So I think Cliff will be a great guest speaker, and I'm excited for that. Also, uh, you know, check this out on the YouTube page, All In on All In Homes. We have our own YouTube page. Every meetup um, goes on this. Every meetup recording goes on the YouTube page. And also, um, just started not not that long ago the Veterans Transit Speaker Series that comes on every. That I have a new YouTube page for that. Um, the project itself will come out in the fall, but the YouTube page with, we have like four videos so far. We recorded some more videos as we go along uh, with veterans, with people talking about different uh, either resources or benefits for veterans. Cause we really want to, um, we really want to see more veterans using the benefits and resources. Too many veterans don't. So really on a mission to help that. And there's more, a lot more to come down the road with that. So we'll start the recording. Y'all, God bless you and, and uh, talk to you next week.